2018, a year of ups and downs for the Saddlers, but you stuck with us through thick and thin, and for everybody at the club, from those behind the scenes to the management and the players, we're very grateful. In January, the club brought in two influential signings as they brought back George Dobson and captured Jack Fitzwater on loan from local rivals West Bromwich Albion. In February, one of the other January signings, Julian and Goy made his mark when he came off the bench against MK Dons and scored the winner within four minutes of making his debut. You can put your mind and do whatever you want to do. Just tell yourself that you're capable too. Joe Edwards scored a brace against Doncaster Rovers here at the Banksy Stadium in what was a joint high scoring game in the 2017-18 season. Your life crumbling, they talk mumbling. You gonna be something. You are glorious. We're no gangs but warriors. We well known notorious. They can't stop you or block you or mock you. They mad cause you bad and they not you. You fall down but get up and skip and hop through. Kick down doors for others to walk through. You have a purpose to make you say, did I do that? Urkel, now we call in reality virtual. This is who I am, this is me. Don't let them words hurt you. When the sharpest words wanna cut me down. March saw big things happen on and off the pitch at Warsaw. Erwin Ostuma scored a fantastic hat trick at Southend away as the Saddlers walked away with a 3 0 win. Later that month, Dean Keats was appointed as manager as he replaced John Whitney. In April, there was only one moment that we can really talk about. That goal that George Dobson scored against Northampton and those celebrations in the home end. Dobson releases Bucky Oko on the right hand side. Ostumas at the back post waiting for it. Can they find him? Injury time winner, Dobson! Yes! On the counter attack! And George Dobson! On the 1st of May, Erwin Ostuma scored the goal that would keep Walsall in League One as his diving header earned a 1 1 draw at Bradford City. As we fast forward to August, we picked up a win on the opening day of the season as Andy Cook and Luke Lee scored goals against Plymouth Argyle, which started our 10 game and beaten run as we picked up 6 wins and 4 draws. Ishmael steps over and it's Lee he strikes it! Stunning finish on a stunning day here in Warsaw! September saw us visit one of the league favourites in Barnsley. Randy Cook showed composure to earn us a late point at Oakwell. In October, there was more late drama on the road as Kira Morris struck with virtually the last kick of the game as we beat Bristol Rovers 1-0. Kieran Morris has won it November was an emotional month for the club and fullback Nicky Devlin as a dramatic winner against Coventry City in the first round of the FA Cup produced scenes to warm the heart as a 25-year-old dedicated his match-winning goal to young fan Teddy Phillips, who sadly lost his life just days before the game. And with December came more jubilation, both at home and on the road. A late double from Luke Lee against Coventry City in stoppage time completed a frantic turnaround, and a thunderbolt from Liam Kinsella at League One giant Sunderland secured us our place in the third Here round of the FA Cup for only the second time in a decade. What a strike. Liam Kinsella with his first goal for over three years.